Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what is uh, what is manifesting for you right now, what's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, um, and what you need to know. Remember that this the entire reading may not resonate. Bits and pieces may resonate for you. Take what resonates. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And if you're interested in a personal reading, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. Okay, so Aries, I'm hearing unashamed. Um, so it's like reflecting. I see you as like reflecting on something that from the past, something from your past that brought that you feel shame about. So there is healing, healing when it comes to like something that you feel ashamed, ashamed about. Um, and remember, we are all humans living a human experience and no one is perfect. All we, the best we can do is, you know, try your best and um, grow, develop and reflect because I see you as reflecting. Um, letting something go, letting go of this shame, letting go of like the fear, letting go uh, of like things or even grudges that you've been holding on to. It's like things have already transpired, the crumbling, um, like a foundation maybe has already broken. And on the other side, there is beauty. What are you uh, clinging on to though? Uh, moving on though, I see you as taking steps towards starting a new foundation where you are moving on and learning to let go. Learning to let go, learning to not cling to things, not obsess over something constantly. Hierophant, um, with this, this guy is like a, a detective over here. So I really see you as like researching something, gaining information, gain, gaining insight towards coming to some sort of um, like philosophy or conclusion for yourself. Focus, working away, eight of pentacles, um, mastering Mastering yourself, working and focusing on, I'm hearing like talents, on something that you're talented at. Mastering your gifts, mastering your work. Self-mastery. Validation. I'm hearing validation. There is um, validation coming in when it comes to like the work that you've already been doing. It's look, we have you're already doing it. So some of you um are like wondering like am I doing enough or am I on the right path? Spirit is saying you're already doing it. You're already on the path. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north, your true calling. Okay. Um don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? You are different and we are all different. And I see you as like not allowing yourself to or part of yourself that is part of your true north change. I'm seeing success. Success. I'm picking up something about hair. <laughs> Someone could be a hairstylist or like a barber. 
uh, someone's getting their hair done. But like doing things also that make you feel good. Pouring into yourself times 10. I see someone as like evaluating you. Okay. Evaluating your work. Someone is evaluating your work, what you do. This even could be in the workplace, someone evaluating the work that you're doing. I see you sharing your voice, so speaking up. Come out of the cave, persecution, and expressing expression. So expressing yourself. So Ace of Wands Reverse is like some of you have been having a hard time starting something or taking action when it comes to um, expressing yourself. Expressing a part of yourself that... Um, you hold very deeply to you because of that fear of like shame of some of you have like that fear of like being ashamed of expressing that part of yourself here. And I see you as releasing, letting go over like the fear of not fitting in the fear of the opinions of others regaining your confidence finding your confidence i'm hearing finding your confidence in your voice so your throat chakra a lot going on with your throat chakra right now um so some of you could be do thro doing throat chakra work or that could be ver very beneficial for you um there could when there's like a throat chakra block that can block us from speaking our truth, speaking up for ourselves, um, holding back at times when we should be speaking. Or it could be like us over talking other people or not allowing others to speak. So those are just some signs of like maybe needing throat chakra work. OK, but I see you as um, finding and taking action towards your confidence. Even if it's a struggle at first, it's like working through it, putting in the effort until you're able to do that. There's an invitation here. A gathering, a, a get together. A meeting. Yeah, news. There is um, information coming in about like a meeting or some sort of gathering coming in. I see you as observing and, and watching someone. Hmm. You know some things. You know, you have information that you maybe do keep to yourself. And some of you are wondering, should you speak up about something? I'm picking up on something that you may see where it's like, wow, did they just do that? Should I say something? Page of Swords. You're watching them and they're watching you. Just saw sparkles. Sparkles. Okay, High Priestess and the Star. Someone at a distance watching you secretly, quietly. Hermit. Someone uh, is in Hermit mode. This Hermit is Virgo energy. It doesn't have to be a Virgo though. Um, so overthinking. This person is overthinking something. Overthinking something, having doubts about moving something forward. So I'm seeing with this 10 of wands reverse this person as wanting to uh, release or let something go, take something off that has been on their shoulders. They're evaluating different options or opportunities here. I'm 
and overthinking it. Hmm. Wow. I, I'm seeing this person is like viewing you as not being done with something. Currently, something not being over or done with. Um, and there could be a block because of that. So I do see like some sort of block between you and someone else. Um, and this block is like it's there. in order to protect you in a way because whoever this person is they have a lot of confusion and page of pentacles is like them and like this cameraman obs like observing you wanting to put in some work towards the situation or offer something but having doubts about it Five of Wands. There's other people involved. Other people involved. Okay, Five of Swords. This could be like a confrontation. You confronting a situation. Confronting something. Allowing your voice to be heard. Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Yeah. Releasing things that have been like holding you down. Not allowing you to um, be the best version of yourself. So I do see you as like really l reflecting on who in your life or things in your life that help you be the person that you want to be or don't bring out the worst in you it's like a moment of clarity where you are realizing who's bringing out the best in me and who's not bringing out the best in me who's allowing me to share my voice and who is uh suppressing my voice and Saying no, saying no to offers that drain you, that drain you, that hurt you. Like I'm seeing you as, as just saying no, you're like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to keep repeating this same cycle, this same process um, with you. It's like finding that confidence to let go. Coming back to the foundation, letting letting things go when it's time. Knowing when to let go, knowing um, what to hold on to. Taking action. Okay. There's spirit is like calling someone out to like take action towards sharing your voice, sharing your thoughts. Two of wands. Yeah, it's like there's different choices here, but making a choice, going after what it is that you want. What else does Aries need to know right now? Star Mother, how can you mother yourself? How can you nurture yourself? Ways that you can nurture yourself and heal, recharge, love yourself. Mirror, who or what is triggering you? Yeah, okay. Projections. There's like projecting. But also, this is you reflecting with um, maybe looking deeper into a situation as to why is this triggering me? The why. 
Why is this triggering me? Where is this feeling coming from? And nurturing, nurturing that, that answer. I'm hearing finding and finding the answers. I'm seeing the number six. We have 11, five. Those numbers could be um, like birthdays, special days, numbers you could be seeing a lot. Five, five, five um, is like changes coming in. Changes within yourself, within uh, who you are. The letter C, W, E, A, I am R and U. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.